Hey, welcome back. This is Ray with the Ray's Engines. Uh, we're here with the 55. Uh, this is the new shop. Uh, so what I'm doing is a video of, uh, say you install your engine and you got a little uh, lifter tap. Uh, your rocker arms are tapping. Uh, so how to adjust it, I'm going to show you right quick. It's, a, it's an easy method. It's a clean method. There's others that have the engine running and there's oil going everywhere. Uh, you don't want to do that. So. Again, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and give me a thumbs up. Uh, so if you walk this way, let's go ahead and look at this engine. Uh, if, you're not, uh, if you haven't been keeping up, this is the 572. It's 860 horsepower. Uh, so I just want to show you right quick, this is a hydraulic uh, roller cam. It's not a, a solid roller. A solid roller, you're going to have to use a filler gauge and, and run your gauge in each, each one. So. This is your intake, if you're not sure. This is your intake, as you can see, it goes on your intake side. This is your exhaust, as you can see, this is coming out from your exhaust. Again, this one's the exhaust. This one's the intake, it's coming from your intake, and so on. So, the simplest method is just remember, exhaust opening, set your intake. Intake closing, set your exhaust. So in other words, exhaust opening, this, this spring is about to compress when the exhaust is opening. As you can see, this one's up, this one's loose, the spring is all the way up, this one's starting to compress. So this is exhaust opening, so you will set your intake. So then, when you want to set your exhaust, you're going to have your intake going down, which is opening, and once it starts closing, that's when you're going to set your exhaust. So if, if uh, you don't have somebody, if you're doing it on yourself, and you don't have somebody inside the car to bump the starter over for you, you can put one of these switches on yourself, and this one goes directly to the starter. So this one will bump your starter for you, so you can do this yourself instead of having somebody else inside the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get started so I can show you. As you can see, this one's, the exhaust is closing. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my exhaust, not my intake. So I'm gonna show you right now, since it's a little compressed, it'll go a little bit more. So actually it's coming back up. So you don't want to set your intake yet. So now let's go ahead and compress the intake. See, now the intake is compressed. So I'm gonna bring the in intake back to closing. Remember, exhaust opening, set your intake. Intake closing, set your exhaust. So right now, as you can see, it's a little loose. It's not ready yet. We're gonna start closing this intake. See, you see it coming up already? You can set your exhaust now. And the way you're gonna have it, since you have poly locks, you're gonna go ahead and hold the poly lock, go ahead and loosen your lock nut and just rotate it and then you'll see how loose it is already. So you can push down on your... Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your two fingers and just rotate the push rod. And you're gonna turn your lock nut and you're gonna feel, see right there, it's moving. And then you're gonna feel when it gets snug, and right there it got snug. So I got a little bit harder to turn. So now you're just gonna turn one eighth. And the way you can look at it, you can look at your lock nut right here, your poly lock. You see it's facing this way, which is a, basically a three o'clock. So you're gonna make it go all the way down to your six o'clock, which is a quarter turn. And then you're gonna lock your poly lock back up. Make sure you hold this down. And there it is. That one's set. That one's ready to go. That gives you enough push on the hydraulic rotor cam. And that's set. That's ready to go. Again, this is a 572 hydraulic rotor cam. If it's a solid roller, it's a different setup. And you would have to use a filler gauge and see what size it is on your cam. So that depends on your cam. So again, give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Hope this helps and hope this helps you adjust your rocker arms and you get a good running engine. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.